know what one of my best tools in the kitchen is? A cast iron pan. Yes, indeed. I do everything in this. Casseroles, I make sauces, sautés, and it's great on the grill when you want to do a beautiful swordfish or any kind of fish dish. So, the first thing we have to do is get the grill going, and then we're going to put this seasoned pan on that grill empty for about 10 minutes while we make the sauce for our fish. So let me get this going. So one of my favorite things to do on the grill is Sicilian style swordfish, pesce spada, because this is the golden fish of Sicily. When you walk through the Ballaro market, you see these swordfish with the heads and the spikes way up in the air, the swordfish itself, beautiful fish. So this is a signature fish of Sicily. So we have about five ounces of swordfish here. That's uh, each one of those is enough as a serving. So the first thing I'm going to do because I'm putting this on the grill is I want to dry the fish off with paper towels because we're going to put this into a dry pan. And if the pan is really, really hot, the fish is not going to stick. So dry the fish off really well. I usually just leave a paper towel there and set it aside while we make the sauce. So the sauce for this starts with some cherry tomatoes. So these are cherry tomatoes that I'm just going to cut in half. Now, if you were in Sicily, of course, you would be getting some really, really sweet tasting cherry tomatoes. One of my favorites is the pianolo. The pianolo, which has a pointed end at the very base of the tomato. And they're sweet as sugar. And this is the tomato that a lot of Sicilians like to dry. So there are all of our tomatoes. I'm going to put them back in the bowl here. So tomatoes is one of the key ingredients. And now let's talk about some of the other things that are going to go into this. Here we have a green olive called Cerignola. You find this in southern Italy. But you could use any olive you wanted to. They're not super duper bitter. They're bitter enough though. And you can buy them either pitted or with the pits. If you get them with the pits, of course, you're going to have to take the pit out, which means you're going to have to slice around them or use an olive pitter if you have it. I just use a can and smash them. Then we need some capers because capers are very popular in Sicilian cooking. You know why? Because there's a little island off of Sicily called Pantelleria, where it's very windy, and that's where capers grow very well. So you can either get capers in salt like this, you see, capers and salt, which you will have to rinse very well. Or you can buy capers in brine that you don't have to do anything to. So either one is your choice. So we have capers here. And then we have some raisins. Now you're thinking, what do raisins have to do with a fish dish? Well, this goes back again to that underlying flavor that you find in Sicily, which is called agro dolce, sweet and sour. And this is the sweet element. And we need some wine. So let's start with putting some olive oil in a saute pan. A little extra virgin olive oil and some cloves of garlic. Two cloves of garlic, just sliced. You don't even have to mince them up. So you want to flavor the oil with the garlic. And then it's simply putting all of these ingredients in because this is a very quick sauce. And really, for fish, fresh fish, really fresh fish, you don't want to tinker with it too much. So this sauce is just light, it's beautiful. You can put it either over or under the fish if you want to. So once those garlic cloves get a little color on them, we're going to add the tomatoes. And we want these to kind of soften a little bit, so turn that down. We're going to add the olives. A very quick sauce, and very pretty by the way. The capers, which have a little bit of a bitter taste to them. 
they go in. Now we want to give this a little bit of salt over the top. Some white wine. Stir that around. Add your raisins. We're using golden raisins here, but you could use anything. That goes in, gives that a little bit of a sweet flavor. We're going to cover this pan and cook this maybe for about 10 minutes. And then it's going to be ready to go over the fish. Okay, you see that pan? It's perfectly dry and it's smoking hot. So now we can take the fish. This is going to take about three to four minutes on each side. What you don't want to do is overcook the fish. And if you're really not sure, have an instant read thermometer ready. I like it at 145, so not really, really overcooked. So there it is. I'm going to lower the top, sing a song or two, and then I'm going to flip that fish over and cook the other side. 